the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the sacrifice of the Eucharist in this Thanksgiving day. We come conscious of God's goodness in our lives to express our heartfelt thanksgiving to him by imitating the prayer man of the Psalm 115. How can I repay the law? All his goodness to me. I will raise the cup of salvation and come on the name of the Lord. Let us ask him to help us to be grateful all our life according to all gifts that we receive from him. We offer this Holy Mass for the eternal rest of Anthony Gay. And also we offer this Mass in thanksgiving for Shena who celebrated his birthday. Brethren, as we prepare ourselves for the celebration of these sacred mysteries, humbly we ask God to forgive us all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greater sin and in my thought and in my word and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace of people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. O oh God, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son of God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Father, all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day, with gratitude for your kindness, open our heart to have consent to every man, woman, and child, so that we may share your gift in loving service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now bless the God of all who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashion them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. 
May his goodness towards us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might they speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise your name forever, Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great in kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate towards all his works. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the gracious grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you await for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful and by him you were called into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourself to the priest. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, 
return glorifying God in a loud, loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanks him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they, were they not? Where at the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Every day in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist before the consecration, the priest says a large prayer which name is the preface. And all Eucharistic prefaces, or rather most of them, begin with this introduction. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks for a most holy. Always and everywhere. Our duty and our salvation to give you thanks for the most holy. Brothers and sisters, a human being is what he is when he is grateful because the capacity, the ability to be grateful, to recognize that everything you have is a gift, a gift that you receive from God. That capacity to be grateful is the mission of humanity. So what does the example of thanksgiving of this Samaritan in today's gospel teachers, brothers and sisters. Firstly, that thanksgiving enhances humility and is, ba and is based on it. Secondly, being grateful puts us to service, to work hard, to work as as hard possible every day. Thirdly, thanksgiving lead us to fulfill the promises we make both to God and also to men. To fulfill everything that we promise because we know that our promises should be reality through that spirit of thanksgiving. Fourth point, thanksgiving or gratitude make us desire God. Make us desire to imitate Jesus Christ because we know that in doing so, we will be loving him in the best possible way. But also, thanksgiving, that spirit of thanksgiving, brings us to our knees before the tabernacle, but also before our neighbor in necessity, in need. In brief, thanksgiving makes us a living Eucharist every day. So brothers and sisters, God goes out of himself freely, giving himself to men. And it is the greatest gift that we have, that we receive from him, God himself. He goes out to give himself to us. And from everything else flow with that, that um, this availability of God to give himself to us. Everything flow for that, for that way. And what is God, what is the, the work, of, what is the, the deed of the man before that, 
that act of God. Man's work consists in turning everything he has received back to God. That is transforming into thanksgiving what he has received in grace. Let us ask the Lord to help us to be truly a living Eucharist, an, inst an instrument of thanksgiving every day in our life, to give him thanks for the life, for the family, for the Eucharist, for the faith, for everything that we see, even the crosses that we suffer. Let us pray one moment in silence. Mindful of God's blessing, we ask confidently for what we need. For the church, for grateful hearts and generous hands, for repentant sinners and living saints, let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> for thoughtful leaders and far-sighted lawgivers, for fair judges and honest representatives, for peacekeepers and all who serve and protect, let us pray to the Lord. For hear our prayer. For clean water and clean air, for renewable resources and careful stewardship, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For health and shelter, for education and freedom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of this assembly, for their families and friends and neighbors, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for eternal rest of Anthony Gay. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Shena, who celebrated her birthday, so that God fill her with his blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, and also we pray for the United States of America, our country, that they may remain in peace, justice, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, you have given us every good thing. Your Holy Spirit guide us pray for all in need. Grant what we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. As our gifts are prepared at the altar, please join in singing number 610, All Good Gifts, number 610.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. God, our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gift so that we might learn to share your blessings in gratitude, accept this gift of bread and wine, and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all our brothers and sisters in the human family through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <coughs> Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord you have entrusted to us the great the great gift of freedom a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption freedom from sin and every every blessing and so with heart full of love we join the angels we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to guide people to yourself, so that from the horizon of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and given you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. On the eve his bread and drink his blood, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the seven passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Nelson our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters. And to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. omnipotenti, in unitate spirito santi, on mi et gloria, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worried that you should enter the room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. How can I repay the Lord, his goodness to me? I will raise the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. He is the one who is truly present in the Holy Eucharist. In every Eucharist, we celebrate that God is grace. We celebrate with thanksgiving his love for us. We come to receive the Lord with that grateful heart, but come being in a state of grace without moral sin by expressing to him your gratitude for the gift of the salvation that he brought to you. With that confidence, with that faith, come to receive your Savior and Redeemer.
Let us pray. In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the death of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. You, Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sigh, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Then, then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Queen of Peace.